Daryl Iverson says it was the damaging winds at times reaching 80 miles per hour that tore through his neighborhood, leaving a trail of uprooted and broken trees. When I heard the crack, it sounded, I, I can't explain it, it was just a really loud snap, and then I seen the tree go. Um, first I thought maybe lightning might have struck it, but there was no lightning at the time, so it had to have been just the wind. As the storms barreled down on the city through the night, city officials say 1,000 calls came pouring in. Power lines wrapped around vehicles where people had driven over live wires and were stranded in their vehicles. Um, trees falling on cars. About 100 trees fell on homes within the city limits. <laughs> Cleanup crews are now focused on clearing the roadways of fallen trees and debris and restoring power. I think a lot of the trees that went down this time came down with such force though it just ripped everything apart. We have a lot of the, the equipment that gets tore right off the poles. Isn't just the wires breaking. Due to the number of downed trees and power lines, officials are recommending limited travel in residential areas. Steer clear of any of these power lines. Don't go under these suspended trees. Um, a lot of this stuff can be taken care of professionally. If you are going to do it on your private property, we have no control over that, but we do ask people to please be careful. The Itasca County Sheriff's Office expects to have a preliminary damage and cost estimate by early next week. It, it's going to be an extreme number. In Grand Rapids, Jennifer Walsh, the Northlands News Center.